Hi guys, uh, I hope you're all well, safe and healthy. Um, this uh, is my, my latest vlog and it's about photographing um, great egrets and they're a fantastic water bird. Now all the footage in the stills was shot pre-lockdown. Um, I've been going through some, um, some video footage, some stills and some, some vlogs that I shot and this was one that I've, to be honest, just forgot to post. Um, so I found all the footage um, and all the stills and uh, in these sort of lockdown times when it's really hard to get out and shoot new stuff uh, I thought you know it'd be worth putting this up so this is my last set of stills and video um, pre-lockdown so after this I'm hoping within the next week or two um, we're gonna things will be eased a little bit and I should get out and be able to shoot some new some new videos so um, I hope you enjoy this and uh, the next one I put up should be new um, and uh, yeah keep safe and well and I'll speak to you soon guys Hi guys, um, yeah, I've, um, I'm photographing water birds again today. Um, I was hoping to uh, photograph spoonbills. Uh, excuse the noise in the background, there's a car just coming through. Because I'm, uh, I'm on a causeway. And there's loads of cars coming through at the moment, so uh, I'm just going to sort of keep chatting until this last one's gone through, and then we'll talk about what I'm doing. Um, it's a bit annoying, but it's a really good spot. So. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm on a causeway uh, in between two sides of, of uh, a reservoir and it's a really good spot for water birds and I was hoping to photograph spoonbills because uh, a few of my friends said there was some spoonbills and they're really big um, wading birds and they've got these big sort of spoon type beaks or, uh, or bills and they use them to sift the water and, and look for food. Um, unfortunately I've got down here too late, I've had a really busy time work wise and, um, and the spoonbills have disappeared. But um, earlier on I photographed some little egrets and some cormorants which were nice uh, and that was a good start and then suddenly, uh, I know there's a few round here, just in the background over there there's some great egrets. So uh, they're way way bigger than little egrets. So little egrets are wading birds and uh, they wade around the shallows fishing and great egrets are, are way bigger. They're the same sort of bird and uh, they're also a wading bird and they fish sort of in the shallows and they, um, they use their feet to sort of uh, um, disturb all the mud and all the little fish come out and, and they, they're a bit like herons. They dart down quickly and grab the fish. And great egrets are brilliant birds to photograph. Um, they, they're fairly, still fairly rare in the UK. Little egrets are really common now. They used to be rare about, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, but there's loads and loads of little egrets, and I love photographing little egrets, even though there's a lot of them. But great egrets are, um, yeah, they're a lot rarer. They're beginning to come into the UK in greater numbers. Another car coming, but they're still reasonably rare, so it's a real treat to photograph the great egrets. And as I say, they're just over there, and uh, I've got some great shots of uh, little wing flaps um, wading around and they're really nice birds to photograph and as I say they're much bigger. Because I'm on a, a causeway here and uh, I've got a bus coming down that's going to be even noisier but we'll just wait for that to go. Um, hard place to shoot a video really but there you go. Right that's gone. Yeah. So uh, they're great birds to photograph, as I say, um, and you never know what you're going to photograph, you know, when you come out and do wildlife. Um, I was hoping for spoonbills, haven't got those, but I've got great egrets, which is almost as good. Great birds. Um, and because I'm on a causeway here, I'm using my 600mm lens and I've got a 1.4 converter on it, so I've got a really long reach. Sorry about all the breaks, but you know, hardest place in the world to uh, photograph a video I think. Uh, but yeah it's great so I'm not going to spend too much time talking because it's, it's, there's quite a lot of disruptions here but as I say uh, great egrets, little egrets, I photograph cormorants, uh, great crested grebe so although I didn't get what I wanted initially I've got some great photography this afternoon so I think always worth coming out even if you don't quite uh, get what you're uh, looking for but this is great I'm gonna start shooting again now and it's literally just in the background crawling around sort of the other uh, trees and stuff really great so bye for now guys and uh, I'll speak to you soon
This is brilliant. He literally, the great egret is literally just over there. It's fabulous. And it just goes to show, you know, you don't always have to be in a wilderness or a really quiet area to get great wildlife pictures. I'm standing on the middle of a busy causeway and just over there, probably, I don't know, a uh, hundred feet or maybe a bit more than that uh, away I've got a great egret and it's, I'm getting some brilliant pictures so uh, yeah I'm sorry about all the noise uh, that you know was happening with all the cars going past but it's a great spot this is a really great spot for photography so as much as I like to be in a woodland or you know right out in the wild or on a mountain sometimes you can get some great photography where there's lots of other distractions going on and this is one of those spots uh, yes and reservoirs are great for, for water birds obviously so um, yeah bye for now um, I don't think I'm going to probably um, this is going to be a very short quick vlog um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it I'm going to put the stills up and also some video footage and I'm going to shoot some video again now and uh, yeah if you do uh, have enjoyed this and you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you can subscribe that would be great and if you do subscribe if you can press the little bell icon and I, that'll notify you when my next vlog's up. Uh, and aside from that, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching and listening. Uh, as I say, a very short vlog, but I'm having a great afternoon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, also, if, uh, if you can share this video, that's always great. And if you've got any comments about your, you know, the places you like to photograph that might not be initially sort of um, obvious that it's a good wildlife spot, always good to hear about that. So thanks for watching and listening guys and uh, yeah, I'll uh, speak to you on my next uh, video. Bye for now.